This award-winning film, which launched the careers of many of India's cinema greats, Manthan, was directed by legendary filmmaker Shyam Benegal and crowdfunded by around 500,000 farmers who donated two rupees each. It was a film about them and the success that they had scripted at Amul or the Anand Milk Union Limited. By 1976, when Manthan was made, a revolution was underway. Operation Flood, or the White Revolution, was perhaps modern India's most successful initiative, which took an idea that had worked and replicated it across India. In the process, it transformed India and the lives of millions of farmers. In the 1960s, India imported around 55,000 tons of milk powder every year, in spite of the country being home to the most cattle in the world. Milk production itself was among the lowest in the world here in India. The answer to the dairy industry's crisis was found by then Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri on his visit to Anand in Gujarat in 1964 when he inaugurated a cattle feed factory of Amol. Amol had been founded in 1946, just a year before independence, by the farmers of Kera district in Gujarat in response to unfair trade practices of a private company called Paulson. The government had given Paulson a monopoly in milk collection from Kaira and its subsequent supply to Bombay, and Paulson fixed the prices of milk arbitrarily. Upset with the low prices given to them, the farmers approached Sardar Vallabhai Patel, senior Congress leader and the future Deputy Prime Minister of India, who advised them to form a cooperative and supply milk directly to the Bombay Milk Scheme instead of to Paulson. Soon Amul became a commercial success with the contribution of three men. Tribhuvan Das Patel, who was the farmer's leader and the first chairman of the cooperative, Vargis Kurian, who was appointed by Patel to help him manage the cooperative, and Hirachand Megha Dalaya, a dairy engineer, who was invited on board by Kurian. Dalaya invented a spray dryer which helped the cooperative convert surplus buffalo milk that was collected from farmers into milk powder. What started with just two village milk producer societies handling 250 litres of milk a day grew exponentially, covering more than 65,000 farmers by 1963-64. So when Shastri visited Anand, the headquarters of Amul in 1964, he wanted to see how Amul had scripted the success. After his visit, he wrote to the chief ministers of all the states stating his wish to set up Amul-like cooperative dairies across the country. He said, if we can transplant the spirit of Anand in many other places, it will also result in rapidly transforming the socio-economic conditions of the rural areas. In 1965, the National Dairy Development Board was established, which formulated a dairy development program. The brain behind Amul, Varghese Kurian, was brought in to lead it and he christened it Operation Flood. The operation was launched in 1970 and started by focusing on four urban markets, Mumbai, Delhi, Calcutta and Madras, connecting them with 1.8 million farmer members. The funds for this were generated from the food aid of skimmed milk powder and butter oil given to India by the United Nations World Food Programme. By 1996, this was expanded to a network of over 10.9 million farmer members across 22 states. It was the beginning of brands such as Mother Dairy, which has branches across India, Mahananda, which is based in Maharashtra, 
Omfed based in Odisha and Bamul in Assam which manufactures products under the brand Purubi. These were set up to take the benefits of Operation Flood to every corner of the country. The success of Operation Flood led some enthusiasts to speak of a white revolution that complemented the green one. But historian Ramchandra Guha in his book India After Gandhi writes, In truth, like that other revolution, the gains from this one were very unevenly distributed. The scheme worked well in Tamil Nadu, a state with good rail and road facilities and a large urban population. In states with poorer infrastructure, the results were disappointing. And everywhere, it was the middle and rich farmers who had gained most. In spite of its flaws, Operation Flood successfully created a vast grid that connected rural farmers directly to consumers, generated employment opportunities in the process, augmented rural incomes, and also provided fair prices for consumers. India was now self-sufficient in milk and milk products.